Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting. I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And for those of you that are new to the channel or you've not yet done so, you know, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And if you find the content that I provide beneficial, please hit that like button as well. Now, before we begin, a quick reminder, you know, please check out the links below to learn more about me, to learn more about my company. And uh, the two things I want to mention to you, we just rolled out. Uh, our all new gym management playbook. And the whole purpose of the gym management playbook is to help you shorten the learning curve. It's help you to um, improve bottom line profitability. And this is really ideally suited for folks that are thinking about getting into the fitness industry or you're, you've just gotten into the industry, you need some training, you need some education, and you kind of want it in a one-stop shop right there. That gym management playbook will provide that for you. Or if you're in the industry right now and you're, you know, what is a sales process? How do we take a telephone inquiry? What is a second sale? What do you mean by that? You know, this will get all those questions answered for you. So be sure to check that out in the courses uh, in the description below. And then in addition to that, you know, one of the things that we're seeing right now is a lot of interest in uh, new gym startups, a lot of new openings. And if you're one of those folks that's doing that and you need additional funding, you know, click the funding link below where you can qualify potentially for up to $250,000 uh, in funding uh, with no collateral, whether it be to start a new business or, you know, to expand your current business with more equipment, uh, more services, more training, things of that nature. So check it out and uh, let's get into our topic here today. It's four ways to reach a wider audience in your niche. Okay, four ways to reach a wider audience in your niche. So who are you catering to? You know, are you catering to first time exercisers? Are you catering to new moms? Are you catering to folks that want to run their first marathon? What is your niche? Who, who are you trying to reach? Okay, whatever it is, probably fine, right? How can we expand that audience? I want to give you four tips. Number one, write a column. Write a column. I mean, there are many websites, there are many uh, online magazines that are looking for experts where you can write a regular column. Okay, uh, for you folks that uh, may follow me, uh, you know you'll you'll notice that I have a regular column in Club Insider magazine. Okay, and um, you know that this helps grow and widen that base of people that know who you are. So look at writing a column. Okay, and start doing some research on websites and online magazines that are looking for this. You could even consider, you know, doing a podcast, you know, because there's the same groups that are looking for these kind of experts, you know, in your niche. So that's the first thing I would look at, you know, consider writing that column. And as a matter of fact, I'll give you one little thing that we did. This was back when um, actually the first club that I'd opened. And it was, I, I took a B location. I won't get too far off on this. I took a B location because I needed to get that first club because I knew if I couldn't get the first one, I'd never get the second one, right? And so I took a location, a little more difficult, but we made it work. And, and one of the things that we did, we did this with the local newspaper, okay? And we agreed to advertise in the paper, okay, which we were probably going to do anyway. We kind of had to. We were going to advertise in this local paper. And as part of the deal, if you will, is we got to have a regular column. And so every week, you know, the, our ads would run and the column would be there. And what we did is we used uh, our club manager, okay, and that uh, was ask and then her name is ask, you know, her name and then questions that people would submit and then she'd answer them, okay. And this did a, a wonderful job of widening, in our, widening our audience and, and getting more exposure and more credibility for what we did. So, you know, consider writing that column, uh, websites, online magazines, things of that nature. Number two, submit guest post. Okay. So you're writing blogs, you're providing articles. Where can you submit these to? Okay. You know, running stores, you know, athletic stores, uh, you know, shoe stores, uh, athletic apparel stores, nutritional shops, you know, where can you potentially submit this information? This is a great way to widen your audience in your niche. Okay. Number three, and this one works especially well. Um, is start a special interest group, okay? And you can do these groups, probably Facebook might be the best, uh, LinkedIn, you know, a little more business related there. But these Facebook groups, they can work extremely well. But start a group based on what your niche is. Um, 
you know, exercise programs for new moms. Okay, uh, how to run your first marathon, whatever it is you want this to be, but set it up in Facebook and then you can start to invite a lot of folks in there, but you will find there's people out there searching for what you have and you'll start getting requests every day for people to join your group. I know we, we operate two groups. We have one on Facebook, one on LinkedIn, and you know, we get new people every day to those groups. Okay, you know, uh, people that are searching for this information, they request to become a member of the group, and now all of a sudden, you know, they're getting regular information from us, and it's and it's, it's all a how-to. It's not a selling thing. It's just we continue to stay in front of them, and then um, number number four, you know, offer something of value. Okay, you know, have some kind of value offering, whether it be to you know whomever that you're you're working with, you know, these these groups that are gonna. Uh, post your information or online magazines that you're going to do, you know, offer value there, offer value to your customer. You know, maybe they get a free week to try it out. Maybe you do something, say you're working with new moms. Maybe that's what you like to do. And um, you got something with the local hospital. You know, when the baby's born, mom gets 30 days free and dad gets 30 days free. Okay, great way to get folks in like that. Okay, so if you're looking to widen your audience, take a look at these four things. Okay, and how can you widen the group that you're dealing with? Because this can be done, it can be done simply. Again, I want to go back to the key thing to all this is not only doing it, but staying consistent with it. Don't just do it for a while, say, oh, I didn't get the results I was looking for, so I'm going to quit. Because when you quit, that's when I can absolutely guarantee you what that result's going to be. You know, it won't be anything. Okay, so get to work on that one. All right, uh, folks, my name is Jim Thomas. Uh, my company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Hope you found the information uh, beneficial and helpful today. If you did, please hit the like button. I appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.